Good morning, it's a beautiful day to be alive. Today I am taking you with me throughout today's meal prep journey. It's a quick journey though. I love to find recipes that are super simple, they're quick, limited ingredients that I can get in and out of the kitchen as quickly as possible. So that is what we are doing today. Without further ado, let's jump in to this video. All right, so it has been a very hot, 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 long minute since I have filmed a meal prep video. So if you're new around here, first of all, welcome. So happy to have you. Thank you for joining the Get Food with the Fam. And second of all, there's quite a few reasons why I really love meal prep and really encourage you to try it. I have found that by taking an hour, maybe once or twice a week to sit down and meal prep a few meals really helps me stay on track to help me reach my fitness goals. When I was in college, it was so helpful for me to either A, take a meal on campus with me, or if I had a short break, I could come back to my apartment, grab a meal from the fridge, toss it into the microwave. I also did this when I worked at a desk job. I would just bring a whole bunch of snacks and my meal prepped meals with me. Sometimes Sometimes I am so hungry that instead of taking the time to make a meal and if I didn't have anything meal prepped then I would just eat every single thing in sight and that is what's going to stop you from reaching your fitness goals is those times where I rush home I'm so hungry and I just eat everything today I have two recipes the first one is a plant-based recipe a lot of my subscribers eat completely different I myself am not completely plant-based I have been slowly but surely making these changes in my lifestyle and I'm very proud of that. So let's jump in to this first recipe. These are the ingredients that we need for the first recipe. I took the time to kind of lay everything out, do a little bit of prep. So you will need one cup of uncooked quinoa. Make sure that you rinse this very good before you cook it. We're gonna have two cups of vegetable broth, two cans of chickpeas. These have been drained and rinsed. We will have one 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes, one tablespoon of olive oil, one chopped up onion, three cloves of garlic minced. This is the nicest little garlic mincing tool. I just pop them through here into here and then look at this, minced. So three cloves of garlic and then some spices over here. I have pepper, salt, crushed red pepper flakes, and ground cumin. All right, so I brought two cups of the vegetable broth to a boil, and then I went ahead and added the rinsed quinoa. This is gonna cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. Right now I'm sauteing the garlic and the onions together for about five minutes. Then I'm gonna go in, toss in the rest, and then we'll let it cook for about 10 minutes. So we have two cans of the chickpeas. You will need a tablespoon of tomato paste. I forgot about that. The can of diced tomatoes, and then we'll go in with all of our spices, cook it all up and then we'll be ready to go. If you, if you do not love quinoa, I kind of go back and forth on it. The texture mm, isn't my favorite. Definitely substitute the quinoa for something else that you would prefer to eat that will make you want to eat it. So an easy substitute for the quinoa for myself would be white jasmine brown rice. So definitely make the substitutions where you want it. You want to create meals that are going to make you want to eat them, you know? If you hate quinoa, don't eat quinoa, girl. One teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of the crushed red pepper flakes, and finally, a one fourth teaspoon of pepper. All right, so this is going to be my lunch for the week, so I'm going to go ahead and separate these out into containers. So here's my portion size. I did half a cup of the quinoa and a full cup of the mixture and then just tossed in as many greens that I can. This is an easy way to add more greens to your everyday. I used to find those recipes that would make six servings and then I would eat the same thing for six days. But by the time I got to the fourth, fifth, and sixth day, I would get very sick of it. <laughs> so now I really like the recipes that will make me about three to four meals and then halfway throughout the week, I can just take another 30 minutes and meal prep something else. This took me 30 minutes. Minutes and I'm set. Set for four days. All right, this is actually my lunch today. I'm so hungry, so let's try it out. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh. 
if you love chickpeas, which last year was the year of chickpeas for your girl. And it's not too spicy. I'm really sensitive to spiciness. There's there's a little kick in there, but it's good. Okay, I'm gonna finish this and then we'll start our next recipe. All right, you guys, moving right along into our second and final recipe of this meal prep video. That's usually about how many meals I will meal prep in a week too. And then of course I make my own breakfast. I have snacks throughout the day. I'll make some other meals. You guys know how it is. All right, this next recipe is a Thai turkey lettuce wraps. Now I'm actually not gonna do the lettuce wrap portion. I'm gonna make it more of a Bowl. What I tell you, you make meal prep to your liking. So let's jump into this video. It should take about the same amount of time. It's another on the skillet one, so I just rinsed my skillet. I'm ready to go. Clean up the kitchen. I gotta clean as I go, you know, otherwise I get done making all the food and my kitchen's a mess and I leave it because I'm tired. All right, let's jump into this. I'm gonna show you some of the ingredients that we need, starting out with the sauce. So for the sauce, we will need one fourth cup of peanut butter. Remember to find a peanut butter that the ingredients are very, very simple. The only ingredient on here is organic Valencia peanuts, unsalted, creamy. I'm a crunchy gal, but we need creamy for this recipe. We're gonna need lime juice. The recipe calls for soy sauce, but I'm swapping it out for coconut aminos. This is a bomb substitute for soy sauce. Rice vinegar and toasted sesame oil. I found both of these next to the oils. This is really embarrassing, but for the sauce, you need something to shake it up in. I don't have anything except for a shaker cup. So I'm using a shaker cup. <laughs> if you have like a little mason jar, that'd be perfect. That's what she used in the recipe, but I don't have one. <laughs> the sauce is made here she is this is everything that you're gonna need for this recipe super simple I have olive oil one tablespoon heating up right now I'm going to go in with one cup of onions and of course three more cloves of garlic look look I saved a little piece to show you how cool this is so same thing as last time, I'm going to saute the onions with the garlic for just three to five minutes and then I will go in and start adding the rest of the ingredients. You will need one pound of ground turkey, one tablespoon of red curry paste. I was really worried that I wasn't gonna be able to find this ingredient, but it was super easy to find. It's just in the Asian food section at any grocery store. I have one cup of shredded carrots. Let's get to cooking. So there's two ways that you can store this. You can store the entire mix in a Tupperware or you can individualize them. Sometimes I find if I'm going to be home, especially for something like this, that would be a dinner meal, I usually just like to keep it in one big container, pull it out, reheat it, pop it on a bed of rice, and then it makes it feel a little bit more fresh, a little new, and super easy to do. If you were to take this on the go, then I highly recommend putting it into your individual meal prep containers. I added half a cup of jasmine rice, a cup of the mix, and then of course some greens garnished with green onions and peanuts. So this is what my meal would look like if I was eating this at home for dinner every night. And this is what it would look like if I separated them out into containers. Here's the rest of the mix. I'm just gonna pop this into a container and then pull it out throughout the week. All right, you guys, that is going to wrap up today's meal prep video. Two super simple, limited ingredient recipes that I really encourage you to try out this weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and never forget to subscribe so you never miss a fit tip with wit again all right i love you guys so much happy meal prepping let me know how it goes for you of course i will link the two recipes that i use in the description box below i love you so much and until next time i will see you next time i was having a little dance party so i'm a little i'm a little tired you know but how fun is cooking when you just blast the music and have some fun that was me today i had fun i hope you have fun i love you so much <laughs>